Hey, this is Matt once again. What about you in the videos? The paid request is time for Julie. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, commenters, reviews, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And uh, also my second YouTube channel in case anything happens and my Odyssey channel that has my older stuff on it. Um, those are in the info box as well. I'm open to pretty much any type of request, reasonable that is. Now, Julie wanted me to react to a Cody Leach review on Return to Sleepaway Camp. And Return to Sleepaway Camp is definitely a film I thought was absolutely god-awful. Has one of the worst, I guess you would call them main characters in horror film history. With the common phrase, you ass steeds. I don't know. Clean up with your ton then. But I'm not going to show the guy's video because I don't want to. I would feel like I'm stealing his video. That's just how I am. But I'll try to have the link down below, or you could go on YouTube and type in Cody Leach Return to Sleep Boy Can Review. Anyway, let's get to it. 3, 2, 1, pressing play. Yeah, 2008, Robert Hiltzik. God, I remember the, the music of that, too. Sleep away, tap. Do, 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 do. Sleep away, tap. It, it's bad, but that got stuck in my head, I will admit. Now, I, the first Sleep Away Camp, I think, is overrated. I think without the ending it would not have I don't hate Sleepaway Camp 1 I just think it's a bit overrated and without the ending it wouldn't have the longevity that it has now so Sleepaway Camp 2 I like more and 3 I like more now return to Sleepaway Camp <laughs> I'd rather watch Exorcist 2 than this. Not even joking. <laughs> Sponsor. Geology. Well, I mean, you'd have to be a geologist to find any amount of good to dig up from this pile of clap trap. Oily stand that you get from watching this damn movie. Well, I would use it on my hair, but it all disappeared after, after watching that film. Watching that film so badly, the hair decided to hit Steed Row and say, Sayonara, pal, I'm going to Tahiti. They did Nate in Tahiti. So now your head's going to be naked. And clone, yeah, I mean, the guy does keep saying you're ass steam, so maybe if that guy used this product, he would have kept saying that. All the characters should use this product, and then there'd be no reason for the character to keep saying that over and over and over again. So there's always that. Burn your eyes, don't put in your eyes then. Don't put in your eyes, Danny McBride. I mean, I keep saying this, but I mean this in a nice way. He does remind me of Danny McBride. I mean, I mean that in a nice way, because I, I like Danny McBride. He was the only thing good in Alien Covenant. <laughs> I love you in Alien Covenant, Cody Leach. He was the only good thing in that. The only good thing. 
Because everything else in Aeon Covenant sucked. I disagree. I think they're just absolutely terrible in the roles. Maybe because I'm not a dire fan of the first Sleepaway Camp, so I, I don't really feel that way. <laughs> yeah, maybe the idea and the kills. I just like to see that. I can see that. I agree, it makes Sleep Boy Camp 3 look like Halloween. <laughs> well, I think that's just how he directs to begin with. I don't think he knows any better, the director. Yeah, the characters are nothing to run home about. Chef. Because of South Park. I don't know. Maybe they thought if they did that, they'd be afraid of getting sued. I don't know if you could sue for that, though. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Yeah, the effects are laughable in their digital quality. Sci-fi channel style.
Yeah, I don't know if in the middle of the production they just lost a lot of money, if this was intended, or what the deal is. Or you have a director that hasn't done much of anything for a few decades, so he was not prepared in the slightest. I mean, like, in the slightest. Yeah. <laughs> Just as someone with an obvious fake... Well, they don't they say her name in the opening credits? Like, Felissa Rose? At all the marketing? Yeah, exactly. The, the fate, everything about it was phony. I agree. I agree. I agree. Completely obvious. Completely obvious. Like, they didn't even try. Well, yeah, we're ahead of the game for the longest time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's not wrong. There's no reason to buy into it. The uh, yeah, the shape of the killer is very different from the shape of that guy. Or have it be where Angela has been in the institution, she's let out, and do a bit of the Psycho 2 thing where you think it's her, but then it's really this guy, or if you did it well, you think it's... I'm not going to get in depth through it, because it doesn't matter, we got the movie we got. <laughs> The movie doesn't know 
if we're supposed to like or hate him. Yeah, exactly. He's an absolutely terrible bully, but yet we're supposed to feel sorry for him. Yep, I know. Terrible main character. I wonder whatever happened to that actor as well. I do wonder whatever happened to that actor. I don't think it's the actor's fault. It's horribly written character. One of the worst written main characters in a long time. <laughs> yeah, the, the movie wants us to feel sorry for him, but it does a poor job with it because you want this character to just... He's apologizing to Tina from Halloween 5. <laughs> well, she did, it, it did deserve it, but... <laughs> That's apologizing to Glenn from Seed of Chucky. That is a better character than Alan, I'll give you that. I disagree. I like Freddy's Dead, the final namer, and I like. I think Robert England's actually a lot of fun in that movie, so I wholeheartedly disagree with that. I think Freddy Krueger. Robert England's a lot of fun in Freddy's Dead, so I disagree with that. I mean, I'm sure the Matey of the family thought, well, it's the same director, he did some of the same actors, but. Why they thought of making this character the way they wrote it. I would actually love to ask. <coughs> sincerely ask. What was the thinking behind it? What was the actual thinking behind it? Uh, good job. It's a good review. I, I agree. I mean, Return to Sleepaway Camp is a terrible sequel. You could argue it's what... No, you can't argue. I mean, you know what? No one would argue this. What am I talking about? It is one of the worst sequels of all time. Especially in the horror film franchise. Of of uh, the ether of horror film franchises. If you made a list of the worst sequels of all time, Return to Sleepaway Camp would be in there. If I don't, I have it in my <clears throat> my worst list. I'm looking on my letterbox, what do I have it on my worst? Well, the worst films I've ever seen, I should say. Um. <clears throat> 
I know I have it on this list. I don't know where I put it, though, ranking-wise. If it's not on there, then that's a big mistake, and I need to fix that. Do I... If I don't have it on here... Yeah, I do. But that seems a bit low. It's in the 60s. That's, that's it. It's always worse. It's always hard to go, like, where do I rank this or where do I rank that? It's always tough. It's always tough. Let's see. Sixty-one. I'd rather watch Steven Seagal's Attack Force over this. The Telephone. Monster. God. I said the whole thing's damn tough. You see, it's always tough to like, what the hell to put what and what and what. Screw it. Move it up to 56. Yeah, I don't know how else to... It's, a, it's up there. When I looked at sequels... Howling 7. I'm just talking about the sequels. Alien 3 is always... I. That's a personal, emotional reason. Not technical, more a personal, emotional reason. <laughs> Got personal. Uh, those Nemesis sequels, especially like 2, 3, 4, 5, just... So I'll just say Nemesis sequels... The Hitcher 2 just insulted me because I'm a big fan of the first Hitcher. And the way they treat C-Town's house character just emotionally pisses me off. Creepshow 3. Trish's Vacation 2. See, it's in the top 10 worst sequels I've seen. Number 6 or 7. And then the Hellraiser Revelations. And... Ghoulies 4, Hidden 2, Halloween 5, and so forth. So, yeah. With that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.